Hey you beautiful big heads, it's your boy Zacho and welcome back to some more Alchemy Stars. In today's video we have a little developer letter here that we're going to go through. Now most of it is, you know, updates coming to the game and some of it is just thanks to us for supporting the game. I love this game, I'm going to be supporting it until it dies. But anyways, let's hop on into it. Number one, a July 6th update, O2 Lumopolis to Edge of Collapse. It kind of confirms that the part two is coming right after this instead of there being the collab then part two. So there we go, we know that we're getting Joshua and Miss Rot right away after this current part, which is nice now. And then on top of that, uh, Spire will now have bonus prizes being given out. The rewards will include little members, star flares, astro gems, and a choose a five star, which is always good. You know, free stuff. And then after they update navigators eligible for the rewards, we'll receive them via mail. Number two, expect a new story in September. So yeah, we'll get a new Aurorian, obviously. And then it says a certain Illumina commander will get her wish and show a different side of her. Now the September Aurorian will probably be the, the guy with the hat, whoever that is. So he's a new Aurorian. And then when it comes to the Illumina commander, some th people think it's going to be Wrath. But me personally, I think it's going to be Sharona because her family did play a role, well, a key role in the, you know, current anniversary, the Cardamus. And she is the child of prophecy. So, and her wish is to save her family. But hey, no, oh, well, save the family name. Everyone look at it. Save the Cardamus. What? Everyone look at it, all right? Anyways, I feel like it's going to be a Sharona altar. That's me. If y'all think it could be a, one of the other commanders, hey, put out your reason why. Number three. Um, so Long Zhu, they're pretty much saying there will be long, more Long Zhu characters and costumes in the near future. Now we do know of two, Dong Tang, who is pretty much a fire selection tile converter, and then Li, who I'm not really sure what Li is. I'm gonna I'm not gonna say his entire name yet because I don't wanna butcher it. But I'm not 100 percent sure what Li is because Dong Tang's translations were easy for me, but then Li's were just like I, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> it was weird. So I ain't gonna talk about that. But we're also gonna leave it at that because I don't know how much. Tordog cares about things that, well, aren't in the game being talked about. So we're just going to skip forward a little bit. Number four, following the implementation of Desolent Codex, in the current version, we will try to offer more interesting game modes. So hopefully we see a Secret Territory update as well. But yes, I'm all for game modes. You know, more interesting ones being added. Hopefully they add even more harder content so more longtime players can, you know, have even harder challenges. I mean, introduce some real serious power creeps so people have something to look forward to as well. Because many people's main gripe is day one characters can be all content even up to this point in the game. Which, it's kind of crazy to even say, you know. But there's no real serious power creep in the game yet. So, this could be them alluding to actually, you know, finally power creeping. Number five is new art for characters. Specifically, Vice will see some, you know, updates in her art. and But then they also go to say that other ruins will get upgrades. And on the CM version, they have actually quote-unquote censored some characters which is different art from the original so they could be giving us the censored art or not we'll just have to wait and see on that one number six is the autobiography so i'll just read the entire thing we are also improving the visual features for the game including higher resolution and graphic display for aurorians and interfaces while fixing certain lags and problems with overheating mobile devices <laughs> i told you bro my phone becomes a diabolical bomb when i'm in the fucking cloud gardens bro <laughs> <laughs> my phone is not bad <laughs> but anyways uh, let's keep it going in the meantime ui pages will see an overhaul as we attempt to revamp most of them we'll retool pages that are more complicated to navigate or pages with complicated info or inconvenience use experience such as the main screen quest screen recruitment screen etc to make ui easier and clearer to comprehend such improvements will be realized shortly so yeah We'll see how this whole overhaul goes. I mean, we'll just have to wait and see, honestly. And then number seven. So many people were complaining about this and they're doing something about it. They're going to enhance the visual effects for Azure's Tipsy, Whimsy, and Carlene's fluffy serendipity costumes. I didn't know people was even complaining about Carlene's, but I guess they looked at it like, I guess we can enhance these as well. But there you go. They do listen. People were complaining about it and give them a little bit of time. They're like, all right, we'll, we'll fix it up. We just had to get other things done, you know? See, we wrote it down in our notebook. We just had things that we had to do right now and then we can get back to it. So look, they listen. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much all there is here. Um, they are thankful for the memories we all shared and uh, all the support. I honestly think Agni Stars could use an anime. Because I think this, I think the story's pretty good. But I'm gonna be honest, I think the story's pretty good. And like once you really get into it, it it it, it gets really good. And then some of this, you know, event stories are really good as well. Either an anime or they just need to go back and just start animating some of the story parts 
just so people can more easily digest the story of Alchemy Stars, because not many people want to sit down and just honestly read text, I'm gonna be honest. But it isn't it what it is on that front. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that ish. I will see y'all in the next one. Love you guys, and bye-bye.